Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. Hope you're keeping warm. I know it's cold up here in Canada. Not a lot going on up here in terms of sales, so I thought I'd put together a little video showing our best finds. So let's check out all of the cool uranium glass finds we made in season one. So this first video is from pretty early on in the season and uh, we hadn't really been familiarized with uranium glass yet. This was pretty much our first encounter with it. Hello. Good. Oh, is that interesting? Yeah. So what is that? So it has like uranium. Nice. Just like the color. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why. I th well, we bought them from two different places. So um, we have the blowing glass thing. Those are more seventies. Little. Are you ready? Yeah. Thank you. So. Thank you. Now it just so happens one of those pieces of glass wasn't actually uranium glass. Now, I I don't think that they knew that. And we obviously didn't know that at the time, but since we have purchased the UV light, we have, well, here, why, why don't I just show you? Okay guys, so this is it, this is the glass, and as you can see, uh, it all pretty much looks the same. It's, uh, it's green and it fades up to this white sort of opalescence at the top. Um, the goblets are sort of more on the yellow side of the spectrum. The uh, cream and sugar are sort of a cross between yellow and the green, and the candy dish is definitely green. If only we'd had one of these at the time. By the way, this is one of the ones we're giving away. This is one of the exact ones. But like I was saying, if only we'd had one of these at the time, uh, we would have been able to easily see the goblets are... Look at that. That is so awesome. And same with the cream and sugar. And check it out. Nothing on the candy dish. Just hardly even reacts to the light at all. I got to be pretty close to see that but definitely not like everything else so it's a dead giveaway with one of these you definitely need one now in this second video this is right around Labor Day and uh, we now have purchased a UV flashlight uh, because we are just loving uranium glass by this point in time we still haven't found a lot of it But here's a nice green piece of glass that we think we might strike gold with. Where's your... In the truck. Do you want me to go around and grab it? Probably, or I can go or whatever. Too, don't you? Thank you. I didn't put this in there because I was afraid it would break. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, yeah, thanks. Guys, thanks so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good score with the uranium glass. I thought so. So glad we've got that light now. That I know. I totally. This stuff is awesome. Okay. So got this piece which is another piece to add to our uranium glass collection now I was gonna show up it's too bright in here I think it showed up on video in the you could really tell in the garage when we checked it out yes yeah it's not gonna really show up here it's too bright in here yeah. but yeah it glowed so past the chest yeah so that's cool and it's it's just so rare and valuable and you, every once in a while I guess people just don't know what they've got nope just looks green just looks like a piece but of not every green, green glass piece has uranium in it right so and this look there would be one just like it without you just don't know yeah they look to the like to your eyes yeah unless same. you've got one of these right. UV lights to check them with mm -hmm. you really you're just guessing Mm -hmm. This next sale I remember was a beautiful day and this was a fantastic sale. These were really nice folks and they had some excellent items. 
As Karen was looking at some spoons, I just happened to notice some green glass sitting off to the side. That? Mm -hmm. It might be. This guy has some good stuff. Gotta run back to the truck and get the UV light. Check and see if that plate is uranium glass. Okay, is it? Mm, I don't think so. Is it? Or maybe. It's hard to say. Yeah. I think it is. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, maybe, yeah. Butter pass. What about this dolly rocking chair? There's two. PR. There's two. Oh, is there two there? Well, do you see the PR in there? Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah? Six for the pair? I think that's what it says. Chair, sweetheart. Yes, six for a pair. Okay. Well, thank you so nice much. Thank you. Yes. Thanks. So, for a collection. Yeah, when you put it on the edge, that's when I was like, oh yeah. I don't know if it'll. It's still. It's hard to show up in the truck for some reason. Yeah, it doesn't like to. But I'm, yeah, I think you're right. I think it is. On this next find, uh, there are many lessons to be learned. <laughs> the first one being always be prepared, and the second one being you never can tell what you've got when it comes to uranium glass. You absolutely need a UV light to know. We got real lucky on this one. This is from Uranium Glass Gamble. be some uranium glass there. I gotta get our UV light. Check that out. Oh my god, we don't have it. I can't believe it. Well, I don't know. We don't have our light with us, so that's really disappointing. Is this your sale? Yes, sir. I'll be right with you in a minute. Just give me. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely. It's probably a toothpick holder. So I sold, I'm going to be up front, I sold one picture for, you offered me 10. Hey, I said, no, it's worth about 50, so I sold it for 20. I was just telling everybody, out of all the things here, the pictures, I'll sell them for 15. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll probably pass on the pictures then. Okay. But uh, what about uh, some of this other stuff, like... Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, what do you think of those? Hmm? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. I'll totally yeah? them both. I don't know. Make oh. me an offer. Those, those make... And then, what about that guy right there? Yeah, yeah. And even yeah. this little toothpick holder, I like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to put this away. Uh, well, if you buy enough, wow. maybe the picture price, because it would be nice to have a picture. That one's nice. That, yeah, it is. Yeah. Would you do 30 for this stuff and that picture? One, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, four, and this picture? Yeah, and, and, and these glasses here. Ooh, these are nice. Oh, uh, I have to go for yeah. that. For, for all these these glasses. What if we left those glasses? Would you do thirty? Yes. For what I've got in my hand, then that picture. Yes. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know what? Thirty. Fifteen. Yeah, I'll do that. Two. So these are what two two each basically is what it came out to be. I think so. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, would I don't you know. Five bucks for those five goblets there? Yep. I would for those, yep. Do you really like that other? Well, I don't know. 
You like a picture? This one. I'll Jeep. sell it to you for $14. Let's <laughs> make it even 50 Ah, yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you Ready? think we should get yeah. it? Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. What, well, are, your, what are your names? I'm Rob. Last Karen. Nice to meet you, Karen. Nice to meet yeah. you. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> I'm like, we can't just leave that one. I know, I know. I'm pretty sure it all is. I, well. Do you think? Can we really to check it I can't believe you forgot the thing. I'm sure it's in that drawer. Yeah, it's probably in the drawer. Probably used it and then yeah. you didn't put it back. Yeah, probably last weekend when we were showing the guys. Yep. That's what happens. Okay. Oh, almost Ooh, missed. Almost missed, eh? <laughs> We're not good at that. On to the next. On to the next. Hey YouTube, so Karen and I, we just got home from garage sailing and uh, you can see we have lined up all of the glass and we're going to use our UV light to check it. I'm gonna turn my flashlight on here. We're gonna check these goblets here first. Oh, nothing. Oh. Nothing on the goblets. Those are not the champagne glasses are not your AM glass. There we go. So the the toothpick holder is lighting up. Right beside it. No. Nothing. No. Another piece though. Oh yeah, that's nice. No. Nope. No, not that. Oh, but the pictures are. Look at that. Look at the picture light up. And this picture is too. And so is the vase. So, we have a few pieces here that aren't. Yeah. Right here. Let's turn the lights on and show everybody. So, put a little extra light in here. So, we just checked all this green glass. It turns out that these five goblets here are not uranium glass. This this little glass here also is not uranium glass and neither and neither is this piece all of these pieces are uranium glass so one two three four five those are uranium glass these are not again no no reaction on these items but these even in the light you can see how that just lights right up and over here, nothing, no reaction at all. In this next clip, you can tell it's getting late in the season. We're wearing our jackets. In fact, the episode's called Still Picking. We go to a local antique shop. Now this lady had several nice pieces of uranium glass, but her prices were pretty high considering not all the pieces were in perfect condition. I was able to find a few pieces though at a reasonable price. Close this when you come in. So were you just walking by or had you read about the sale? No, I did see yeah, the sale. Um are you in like Kijiji or are you Yeah, you don't Trivet? know who sees what, so I'm trying to cover it. Thirty-three? Maybe a zero. Let's check. Yeah, thirty. There. Oh, it is too. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want to be twenty for that? Mm, no. This is a weird house, like the way it's laid out. Look at that. Ooh, that's super glowy, eh? 45. So it'd be 30. Yeah. Plus tax. a lot of uranium in that one. That's a nice one, though. Is it chipped anywhere? Right. Yeah. Uh, that, those are? Both of those? Yeah, and that one, yeah, that's what I thought. Those ones won't be. No. All those. Wow. Those there. So I wonder if it depends the wall, on the, th on the thickness, there. like, because this is so thick. It is pretty thick, isn't I it? I wonder if that's why it's so glowy. I don't. 16. Oh, yeah. So that'd be only $10 each. Yeah. These are 16.50, and this larger vase is only 15. That plate is 85. 
It's because it's depression. Yeah. So we'll leave. I think we'll just grab the one vase for 10. Yeah. It's 30% off of 15. Yeah. Right. It's bigger That's than the other vase, isn't it? Similar to the one we... It is, but it's bigger. And the top is different. If the other one is more of a drippy. Yeah. And it's a different color. It's more of a blue, right? Mm-hmm. You'd like that, Dustin? All? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now you've got two others up there. They're a little smaller, but they're sixteen fifty. Uh, whereabouts are they? Uh, on the back wall in there. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Were you interested at in all of them at fifteen each? I mean, less the discount, of course. I don't, I don't even know. Sure would you, would you like give me all three for 25? Do you want to bring the other two? Sure. I'll see what we're dealing mm -hmm. with. I will. Uh, oh my god, are you dusty? They are, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Well, let's see what it, would fit, what it would work out with the discount. Let's see. It would be 31 with the discount. Yeah. And what are you offering? So I was wondering if you'd do 25 cash for all three. I can't do any, I can't do cash. I have to put everything through my books. Oh, okay. Um, so I, would, do 25. I, I would do 25 and GST. Yeah. 25 and GST? Okay. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So 26.25 for 40. I got you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the treasures. Thanks. Enjoy. Thank you. This next clip is from our first visit to the local antiques mall here in town. They aren't known for having the best prices, and they actually have a large selection of uranium glass. A lot of it didn't make the show because the prices are astronomical. But I was able to scrounge up one piece that was a decent price. Antiques Mall. Yeah, we haven't been this one yet. This one's huge. Yeah, this is a really big place, but the prices are pretty high too, so we don't we don't come here too often. <laughs> Straight to the back here. Oh yeah. You bet. That is uranium glass. And it might only be twelve dollars. So I wonder if we can get a deal on that. If we can get it for ten, maybe. Well, we'll see with all of the stuff we're getting. Yeah. And in this last clip, you'll recognize our beloved book lady, Yvonne. And she sells me a great little piece for a nice price. And she's always full of information about every single piece she has, which we love. I've always kind of liked that. I was just wondering how much, what are you wanting for that? That's uh, called Flattened Diamond and Sunburst, also known as Fallen Fan and Thumbelina. 50 to 58, Westmore and Greenfield, Pennsylvania, and Fostery Glass Company, 1958. Five bucks. Five? Yeah. Oh, well, I think we could probably do that. <laughs> you want that one? Yeah. It's, it's actually really nice. It is nice. And, and that's all the particulars with it. Yeah, we always keep all your little notes. Yeah, yeah, with yeah we keep them in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leave yeah, them stuck to the bottom or wherever. Yeah, how do you know? You know That's you right. Forget. You, forget. you do forget, and then you have to relook it up. And oh, it's uranium glass. Yes. So I have to give you that. Is so that okay? You're getting a deal. Uh huh. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's, nice. That's why I like it. Yeah. We have a collection of uranium glass. Oh, is that right? And then we have this type of a light uh -huh. under up above them on the oh, shelf, okay. and then yeah. when. Yeah, so Thank you, Yvonne. You're very welcome. I like that. That's nice. Yeah, that is nice. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. 
Don't forget to comment below, subscribe, hit that like button. We'll see you next week for more great action, and as always, on to the next. See him? Can you see him? I'm gonna try and get closer. I'm zoomed in all the way. He's probably gonna run away from me. Can you see him now? Wild rabbits. We have them all over the city. Just thought that was neat.